Yeah, it was just like one of his eyes. I can do tip. I can do no tip. No tip. That's gonna block. We had uplighting would be different. I just didn't want his eyes to be completely shadowed out. That's that's ill. Illuminati. You should not like. Huh? You should not like promote the Illuminati. I'm not. You know, Metro Boomin started a company named Boominati Worldwide. That reminds me of a remember like what was it Pineapple Express? No, no. They were like Prestige. Oh, Step Step Brothers. Yeah, World Worldwide. And they was like, I'm on a boat. Boats and hoes. Boats. Boats and hoes. First topic of the day is definitely President Donald Trump's personal lawyer. Jay Sukalu misrepresented the role of Secret Service on Sunday morning during an interview on ABC's This Week. Mm -mm. In an attempt to justify Donald Trump Jr.'s controversial meeting with a Russian lawyer and Russian American lobbyists, several former and current Secret Service officials told Huffington Post. One, somebody snitching. <laughs> Two, Trump's is in meetings, whether it's Donald Trump or not. It and is. three, somebody needs to be under fire for this. So I don't really know what's going on here. Trump. Trump? Trump. The Trumpster. Dun, Trump. dun, 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 dun. Trump, Trump. But no, seriously. Um, <laughs> what? Trump, Trump. You can't start a chance. He like Jaws. Jaws? No. Yeah. No. He's coming. No. Oh, well, Trump can. Pause. He's president. But anyway, do you think somebody needs to be taking a fall for something at this point? Yeah. As the leader of this nation, Trump, you will have to take this L. Not a Kanye L. Not a Kim K L, but it's my fault. Donald Trump L. That's like a new L for the nation. <laughs> yeah. That's like, like super I, L. I want presidency. Donald Trump. But no, seriously, I think that we really need to make sure somebody's under fire for this because, like, if this happened under Obama, it would be so much stuff. That yeah. He said. And the fact that he's like the president, if this can get under him, what else is getting under through this? Country? So much stuff getting swept under the rug. So much stuff is going over the head. Bombs and missiles. Yeah, like inner. Continental ballistic missiles. I thought being you were about thrown. to say intergalactic because we at war <laughs> with all things <laughs> above thee. But um, no, I think I think that uh, I think that there should be some type of person taking the fall for this, and it's not gonna be me. I'm not taking the fall for any of this. I'm not taking the fall for nothing. I'm not qualified. I didn't even vote for Trump. How, oh well, I don't tell people I vote for. Babies, 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 babies. So many celebrities is having babies. I don't even know what to do with myself. First, not have babies. <laughs> when, well, you know, it's natural to have babies, ain't it? It's natural. I know it's, for sure. Beyonce extra threw activity. up a photo of her and the new two babies, Sir and Rumi Carter. Um, is they're like one month today, and she took a picture and threw it on Instagram on Friday. So yeah, shout out to the Beehive. And the fact that Jay Z not in this photo. Like, and he just announced Is fathers word. ever in the photo? Fathers are never in the photo. We need, we are missing fathers here in the nation. And I don't know why we don't see Jay-Z in this photo. Come this on, is just like on. the photo she took when she was pregnant. Yeah, I mean, she, like, this is at, like post-pregnancy. So, yeah, now women, like, you remember how when Beyonce did it, everybody started, like, staging that photo and taking it? Yeah. Now people are going to be staging this photo and taking it, too. Beyonce challenge. Yeah, so people are going to be taking it way too far, but... If you do take that photo and stage this, make sure you tag us in it. Hashtag we'll talk. And uh, we want to show the photo on here. But if you don't do it, don't worry about it. I Be might do it, though. Beyonce challenge. <laughs> you can't just hold balls. <laughs> You're dropping balls everywhere. Balls are fine. It's balls everywhere. Ball Stop. Uh, no, I can't even find the balls. The ball is gone. Um, but anyway, I don't know. The other person who is throwing up photos of babies is Serena Williams. Uh, she has been documenting her pregnancy on social media since April, and she's only looking more radiant, according to people, as her uh, her due date grows near. Girl, think, your skin is popping. That's what girl. Hey, remember? Uh, <laughs> like, you, like remember when Amber Rose was pregnant too? Yeah. And it was like, oh, she just looks so radiant, and she's glowing. She's glow I'm she's like, that's skin. everybody who's pregnant, okay? It could be Shanae who's pregnant. She's glowing too. It's something about the, the, the life inside of you that glows you. 
Is is that like a quote of the day or something? It is now. Are you high? Do you want to get high? We have K2 available for you. Oh no, just the beginning of the article right, right there over just three days. It yeah. might kill you, but you will be high. Have you ever had K2? No, I've never had K2 or Spice or whatever it's called. Spice? Yeah, like it's called like Spice. Bro, bro look like, this Spice. Anyway, if don't you smoke them. If don't. you don't know what we're talking about, it's like fake marijuana, synthetic marijuana. Like, have you had it? You out here no, asking me? That's like out here eating like cheese free cheese. Like, don't, don't eat it. You've that. done that before. You have literally. You got to try it at least one. No, listen. All right, no, side note. Before we get into this marijuana segment here, <laughs> I just want to let you know a true story. So, this is. Story Willie, time with Willie this B. This is story time with Willie B. Here again, we go. But it's about ill will. So, anyway, this dude went to the dollar store and bought cheese. That's file number one. Dog no, stuff. <laughs> it was like. No. No, no, be quiet for real quick. I'm going to tell the story and then you can chime in, whatever. Okay. Then after he bought said cheese from the dollar store, he thought he was going to go home and cook with this cheese. This man put this cheese in the microwave, in the skillet, and in the oven. This cheese did not melt, it did melt. at all. So, we listen, out here. <laughs> listen, do not buy pasteurized processed cheese from anywhere. It won't melt. It's not even cheese. That's like eating gluten-free bread, and you like, oh, it don't taste good. It's missing one thing, gluten. No, 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 it's not about taste. It's the fact that this did not melt. <laughs> it so wasn't like, cheese. It, it, it was, eating up cardboard, basically. Plastic melts. <laughs> <laughs> not this government cheese. Like, yeah, he bought like the ultra, like, so there's government cheese and there's ultra government oh, cheese. Ultra government. So like, that is what he bought. Area 51 cheese. And it cheese. was terrible. And he was like, it won't melt. And so he had to throw it away. So like it's the same thing as like getting that McDonald's burger that never rots, ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got the cheese that never melts. Mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, fake marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> over, <laughs> <laughs> over just three days in a single Pennsylvania county this month, more than 100 people reportedly overdosed on a type of synthetic marijuana known as K2. Between July 7th and July 10th, 102 people in Lancaster County were treated for K2 overdoses, according to CNN. Mm. I think that this is bad. Remind me not to go to that county to get weed. This is worse than people overdosing on like car fentanyl and people having like meth labs. Like or, this is this or is heroin, like, this is Breaking Bad times ten. <laughs> I think that people should not do marijuana that's fake. No, no K2. Just smoke the natural flower, okay? The, it's good for you. The kind that Jesus intended for us. Jesus? Yeah, he approved of it, doesn't he? Hey, he got to the flower. Yeah, exactly. So if you're going to be out here doing you, make sure that you're not smoking pray K2. And praise to the most high. Pray. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, the question of the day is, what is the number one way to ruin a first date for you? Hashtag we talk. On our social media platform, Megan Renee said, when they make it painfully obvious that they're just interested in sex. I hate it when women are just interested in sex. They oh. don't want to get to know me. Oh, not, they don't want, huh? not the other way around? You want the panties? I, no, I want to get to actually know a person's likes, dislikes, okay. what they feel. What, You're not just a piece of me. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Don't just use me and abuse me. You know what I'm saying? Bars. Like, Like, I just, I want to be able to know the ins and outs of a person and their soul so I could be that other half to make some whole. You know what I'm saying, baby? Because I just want to be the funk in the left leg and the blues in the right because they can just call me the black armored knight or you, you saw the movie Love Jones. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, somebody else said, uh, Janae Anderson, she said, when people talk way too much and you barely get to say a word throughout the conversation. Mm. Speak up, baby. I think, all right, so I talk a lot, right? Okay. So if I'm on a date and I ask a question and they start giving like one word responses and don't. She really don't want to be there. She don't want to be there. So then that's when I get up and leave her with the bill. You shouldn't do that. Huh? You shouldn't do that. I think that, I think that it's totally fine. It, I mean, I pay my half of the bill, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm cool. But if you're gonna just try to get a free meal, 
jokes on you, you gonna pay for yours or wash dishes in the back. You know how you ruin the first date? How do you ruin the first date? Trying to keep it under twenty dollars. I think that keeping the day under twenty dollars is perfect. That's terrible. I so like all you got is twenty dollars. It don't matter for me. I just, <laughs> you gonna take this twenty dollars and like it? <laughs> you gonna learn today what twenty dollars look like if you ain't learned it before? Another thing is like, have you ever been on a date and somebody just had totally bad breath? No, it never happened. Or just they smell bad. I like sprayed ketchup on this girl's shirt. Before. You sprayed ketchup, so you made her smell bad and look bad. Yeah, that makes me think of, like the Chappelle skit where like Tupac was coming back and it was like the girl dancing and it's the stain on the back of her shirt. It might be doo doo. Predicting future. Yeah, I think this is totally hilarious, but you know, I don't know. I don't really have like ruined first dates because I usually just like cut the dates early and just time I'm not feeling it if it's bad. That's good of you. A lot of people don't do that. They continue on with the bad day. Yeah, they be And then they're like, oh, this was just a terrible date. And I'm like, why did you stay? stay. <laughs> like, Go don't home. stay. Like, all right. It is totally acceptable that on a date, you tell somebody, like, hey, you know, I see you putting in some effort. And I really appreciate everything you're doing. This is really nice. But I found out that I don't like you too much. <laughs> so, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I tried, and you may like me, but no. And you just keep it going from hey, there. Girl, that bill, nineteen ninety five. go home and don't let him in. Yeah, as long as, if the date is not over $20, you okay. Like, if you... Like, he's still in budget. Yeah, don't, he's still Don't in give budget. him no play. So, uh, the other thing, when you at a restaurant, like, all right, I always... <laughs> all right, I always see if she order water or not. <laughs> That's I like want the strawberry lemonade with lime. Yeah, like if she or if she like, well, I'll take a pino grigio. Like, <laughs> all right, wait, you kind of like hitting up. That's that's ten dollars right there. I gotta clutch my pearls <laughs> and see what's I going you on. To get water and napkins. Yeah, like. I be I be getting like waters with limes, and then because if you get the water, there's free. Yeah, you can get like the nice two for twenty. <laughs> and then I found out Red Lobster got like a make your meal type thing for fifteen ninety nine. They do. You can stay like under that, and then y'all can share a meal. What's wrong with sharing a meal? Nothing is wrong with sharing a meal. And then y'all can go get ice cream. Even Drake said it. We can go for ice cream. Nobody listens to Drake. Everybody listens to Drake. And he, he wear like nice hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff. So people got to listen to light skinned people to wear nice sweatshirts. I'm Willie B. I'm Ill Will. And this is Will Talk. So if you like what you saw, hit the like, hit the comment, hit the subscribe. Make sure you share the video. Twice. Because we're trying to get more views out here. Even what, the catfish pages? The catfish pages. If you got yeah. you a catfish page, go ahead and perch it and tilapia it. And tilapia? <laughs> because, well, catfish. Like, you know how people eat catfish? Yeah. Yeah. So don't eat don't, tilapia. Yeah. <laughs> don't eat tilapia, but make sure you share this video. Follow us at the Q brand. Right now. Peace.